What up everybody, T-Biz again, and we're going to check out another cool little set from Empire Toy Works, aka the Jawa King, I don't know if you, I guess I'll call him that, but yeah, Mr. Chris Shaler, um, cool toy maker, cool diorama peacemaker, I have most of the background is an array of Empire Toy Works products, um, just pretty much the whole background is all Empire Toy Works, except for the action figures, obviously, and uh, we have our little friends, uh, the Jawas, the uh, locals of Tatooine, um, ready to sell their wares to anybody who wants to buy on this uh, street corner or this little outside, almost yeah, this little outside corner of uh, uh, my little space town on my review table, which has a very white, white street. Anyways, but yeah, this is a custom cast droid set. It's pretty freaking cool. It sold out pretty quick. I think right now I don't know if he still has them on sale. But he has the little little bar bots, and he has them displayed for an example with like little uh, wine glasses and uh, stuff like that, and bottles and stuff, where so you could put like drinks on top if you wanted. And that's pretty cool, pretty cool idea that he came up with. And I think they're randomly painted and colored too. But I think I picked up this set for either twenty five, thirty, or fifty. I can't remember how much I picked it up for. I forgot. I'll have to look again. But um, but he makes cool stuff. And check him out, Empire Toy Works. Type it in on uh, eBay, and you can find him at, at at Empire Toy Works on Instagram and on the Facebooks. And if you just type in, like, probably I think if you do it at uh, EmpireToyWorks.com, you can find um his little hub or whatever with all his creation and his um, rock gut station or his space city in, in his room or in his house or whatever, or wherever it is. But uh, he's got this toy room that's all just one big diorama. Other than that, this is a cool little piece. It's just any, it's just a nameless droid. It's all custom casted, and I've got to think that he's used. So I've tried to figure out what he's made half of this stuff from, because some some of the stuff just looks like it may be a dial from something, or it could have been a, a top of a bottle right here where my thumb is. Um, I'm always trying to figure out where he got all these pieces from. And yeah, they're cool. And he he's, he's, has the uh, molded rubber little. It's all one mold, but yeah, I just like it because it's kind of like a little mouse effect. It doesn't roll or anything, but even on carpet or on a table, it gives it that floating effect, which is cool. That it's like kind of floating or hovering, or maybe it has wheels or treads underneath it. So yeah, that and the paint's always good on these. It's always a nice weathering, weathered look. So it's it's been through. So maybe space travel, if not just been like on Tatooine or some place like that, or that other crappy planet where they were for the Force Awakens or whatever. Uh, it's not Kashyyyk, I can't remember, but anyways. But yeah, and this is a little little version of a droid. I think he calls this the Barbot in his newest, his latest cells. But yeah, this is a cool little piece. I think he just uh, paints over to this with a uh, sharpie because he kind of has a look to it of sharpie, and it, and it glistens and gleams kind of like purplish, like sharpie. But yeah, and this is just like a top of like a bic uh, pen right here, painted and glued. So that's kind of that's kind of cool and creative. I think that's awesome. That's awesome, and I like his motto too: is it just give, giving your toys something to play with, which is cool. And this is a cool piece. This is another cool droid. It almost looks like a fishing buoy or something like that, or in the, in the water floating around. But this looks like right here, before it was molded, like he just got some zip ties and cut them and glued them onto something. And once again, this looks, just looks like a bottle top or a dial right here. And yeah, once again, like a zip tie, just cut and, you know, pasted on, and then he just did a custom cast mold. And that, this is all one mold, I'm pretty sure. And this piece right here, the top, this antenna, just looks like it could have been a pencil eraser he might have glued on so yeah and it's funny because if you look here there's a little one of those little bead balls or crack things or whatever from like the uh the food court or the little food market uh bucket and stuff it's like got stuck or glued on in there, which is kind of funny or maybe uh it was traveling the streets it went by the the food market or whatever and got some food on the, on the bottom of it but either way I like that he always just does some cool weathering or just dirt paint and stuff uh, all around the droid and it's just always a good detail and just cool. And like I said, his motto is awesome. Just give your toy something to play with, which is awesome. And just, I don't know, it's a good motto and it's true because um, without it, your figures would just be standing there and you'd have to really, 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 really use your imagination and just maybe use uh, 
Glade bottle for uh, you know, <laughs> something else or whatever. You know, there's something for your uh, background or maybe like a used milk jug for, you know, whatever. But yeah, that's what, that's what he's got going. Pretty cool stuff. Anyways, um, yeah, check them out on the Instagrams or on the Ebays or the Facebooks and stuff. But um, just look up Empire Toy Works and, uh, yeah, you'll find his stuff. It's pretty cool. Anyways, uh, thanks for stopping by. And, uh, yeah, more reviews definitely is on the way. Thanks, y'all, and have a good night. Peace.